dear students i welcome you in the last lecture from the topic emi in this chapter we have studied simple interest compound interest and emi the last topic from the chapter interest and emi is emi in the previous lecture we have seen two different methods of calculating emi one is flat rate interest method and another is reducing balance method let us see examples on each of these methods first example a person purchased a bike of rupees 80000 by making a down payment of rupees 10000 the remaining amount is to be paid in 3 years if the rate of interest is 12% per annum calculate emi by flat rate interest method so here flat rate interest method makes use of simple interest first thing you note that loan amount is 80000 minus 10000 because down payment is to be subtracted from the actual amount which is to be paid in equated monthly installment so that is going to be equal to 70000 and it is quite easy to calculate emi by flat rate interest method so emi is equal to amount upon number of installments and that is going to be equal to amount upon number of installments so that is going to be equal to p 1 plus r into n 1 plus r into n upon 100 divided by number of installments it is 12 into n because n is number of years and installments are to be paid monthly so after if you substitute all these values 70000 1 plus rate of interest is given as 12 into value of n is 3 upon 100 divided by 36 so i request you to do the calculations on your own and see whether you get the answer as 95200 divided by 36 that equals to rupees 2644.44 i request you to do the calculations on your own so the final answer is EMI is rupees two thousand six hundred forty four point four four. Let us see another example from flat rate interest method. It is of similar type and is to be solved in a similar way. So the example is that a person purchased a bike of rupees. Eighty thousand by making a down payment of rupees ten thousand. The remaining amount is to be paid in forty-two installments. If the rate of interest is twelve percent per annum, you have to calculate EMI by flat rate interest method. Here, note that years are give, years are not given months are given so we have to convert months into years by dividing by 12 so n is equal to 42 upon 12 that equals to 3.5 years that equals to 3.5 years thus emi is equal to amount upon number of installments as we had seen in the previous example i request you to do the calculations on your own i am constantly requesting you to do the calculations on your own because mathematics is a subject where practice is required unless you have the practice you will not able to solve this so formula is p 1 plus 
r into n upon 100 divided by number of installments that is 12 into n substitute all the values and check whether after calculations you get the answer as 1 plus 12 into 3.5 upon 100 divided by number of installments that is actually 42 so n you can substitute 12 into n or directly you can write it as 42 it doesn't make difference and after simplification we will find that you get the value as this is going to be equal to 99,400 divided by 42. Please pause a video for a while, do the calculations and check whether you get the final answer as 2,366.67. So the final answer is the EMI is rupees 2,366.67. Now, after seeing these two examples on flat rate interest method, let us see examples on reducing balance method. So, in reducing balance method, in reducing balance method, the way in which EMI is calculated is quite different. It is the existing method reducing balance method is the existing method through which banks generally give loans so it is existing method of calculating EMI banks do not use flat rate interest method but banks use this reducing balance method to calculate EMI okay remember this so let us see example a loan of rupees 20 lakhs is to be paid in 15 years. If the rate of interest is 12% per annum, we have to find EMI, equated monthly installment by reducing balance method. It is given that 1.01 .01 raised to 180 is equal to 5.9958. So, first step is to write given data. So write down given data. What is loan amount? Loan amount is rupees 20 lakhs. Then how many years? 15 years. And we have to find n is number of months here. So we have to multiply by 12. So 15 into 12 is 180 and i is equal to r upon 1200 that equals to 12 upon 1200 which equals to 0 0.01 so this is our first step to write the given data now in second step we will have to write down the formula in second step we will have to write down the formula so what is formula for EMI formula is P is equal to X upon I 1 minus 1 plus i bracket raised to n so this formula we have to use substitute the values in the given formula so third step do the calculations third step is to do calculations so this is our third step third step is to do calculations from here after substituting the values substitute the given values the given values are P is 20 lakhs, X we have to find, X is EMI, value of I, so I we have found at 0 0.01 that we have to substitute here and 1 minus 1 upon 1 plus 0 0.001 bracket trace to 180, 180, after substituting the values and simplification one gets this equals to 20 lakh is equal to x upon 0 0.01 that equals to 1 minus 1 upon 5.9958 please pause the video and do the calculations on your own it is not enough to watch this video just 
you can use this for verification purpose and after simplification we will find that x comes as 20 lakhs divided by 83.32 that equals to 24,003.84 so the final answer so the final answer is going to be equal to EMI is 24,000 24,003 rupees 84 paise is the final answer. Let me write it down here. So the final answer is EMI that is X is equal to 24,003.84. This is our final answer. As in practice, I have given you ample number of examples in the notes. So as a practice, let us go through this example. Here, the question is to find EMI by reducing balance method. An amount of rupees 10 lakhs, it is a loan of rupees 10 lakhs, which is to be paid in 10 years. The rate of interest is given as 12% per annum. We have to find EMI by reducing balance method. It is given that 1.01 raised to 120 equals to 3.3004. As before, this is first step. So first step, write down given data. And also you have to find value of I that equals to R upon 1200. What is I? It is rate of interest per cent per month it is not per year so you have to divide by 12 into 100 that is 1200 12 upon 1200 that equals to 0 0.01 then in second step so the second step second step is to write the formula this is second step to write down formula and in third step, you have to substitute the values that is do calculations and solve equations. So in third steps, you have to do calculations and solve equation, solve equation for x. So this is our third step, solve equation for x, substitute all the values and after simplification, you see whether you get the value of x, the value of x as equal to 14,347.20 or not. So the final answer is EMI is equal to rupees 14,347.20 I request you to solve many examples on your own this completes our topic on EMI thank you